Public sector unions and government representatives did not make any headway in another round of negotiations today on a new collective agreement. The talks affect 180,000 workers in education, sciences, healthcare, social welfare and culture. The sides need to agree on a negotiating protocol, but time is ticking. The union's current contract expires on March 12th. They warned that the negotiations could take several months. After two days of top-secret talks, the supervisory board of Croatian food giant Podravka has chosen a new CEO, Marin Pucar, by unanimous decision. Pucar is the former director of the sweets and chocolate makers Vecevo and a one-time Podravka employee. The supervisory board expects Pucar and his team to double Podravka's potential and profits over the next four years. President Kolinda Grabar-Kitarovich received assurances from Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov last week that the Russian owners of the oil refinery in Bosanski Brod would try to reduce pollution emissions. Bosanski Brod is just across the border from Slavonski Brod in Croatia, where residents have been fighting for better air quality for years. The president is visiting Slavonski Brod today, where she will talk with city officials and local clean air activists. Making clay crockery by hand is a rare trade these days. Few artisans still practice the craft in Croatia's north, where these types of pots and dishes have a long tradition. The Ministry of Culture has granted special status to people like Jadranko Gjerek, a master potter, in order to save the traditional craft from extinction. Anna Konjuk failed to advance to the quarterfinals of the Dubai Tennis Championships. The Croatian was bested by world number two Angelique Kerber in two sets. Despite the loss, the Croatian is in excellent form and is on track to break the top 30 in the WTA rankings on Monday. After two and a half seasons with the Brooklyn Nets, Croatian forward Bojan Bogdanovic has been traded to the Washington Wizards. This is good news for the 27-year-old who will now have a chance to play in the NBA playoffs. The Wizards are currently third in the Eastern Conference. The Nets only made it to the playoffs in Bogdanovic's first NBA season. The Wizards general manager said Bogdanovic was a very good shooter and a talented overall scorer whose versatility gave the team an added dimension. Split will host the world's best sailors at the World Laser Radial Championships this September. For Croatia's Toni Stipanovic, this is an opportunity to take on his rival, Olympic champion Tom Burton of Australia, who snatched the gold from him in the final race in Rio. Competing at home will certainly give the Croatian a slight advantage. Today's forecast calls for cloudy skies and rain in the second half of the day for most of the country, and especially the northern Adriatic. There will be heavier downpours overnight, especially in the west, where there is a chance of thunder showers. Temperatures will drop significantly in the mountains, where rain will turn to sleet and snow, primarily in Gorski Kotar. A high northeasterly will pick up tonight on the northern sections of the coast. Gale force winds are expected in the Velibit area. Strong southeasterly winds will remain along the rest of the coast. The day's highs will be between 12 and 17 degrees, but the temperatures will cool off quickly in the evening, in the interior and on the north coast. The precipitation will taper off in the interior by Saturday morning, with skies clearing from the northwest. Sunday will be mostly sunny, but the morning will be brisk with a chance of fog. Temperatures will warm up again a bit on Monday when partly sunny skies are expected. In Dalmatia, especially in the far south, there will be clouds and rain overnight into Saturday. There could be heavier downpours and thunder showers early in the day. Elsewhere, skies will begin to clear as a high northeasterly sweeps in, bringing cold air with it. The weather will be variable on Sunday. The new week will bring a chance of scattered showers, especially on Tuesday when southeasterly winds return.